I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am here because I believe it is my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school. Brett groped me and tried to take off my clothes. He had a hard time because he was very inebriated and because I was wearing a one-piece bathing suit underneath my clothing. I believed he was going to rape me. I tried to yell for help. When I did, Brett put his hand over my mouth to stop me from yelling. This is what terrified me the most and has had the most lasting impact on my life. How are you so sure that it was he? Uh, the same way that I'm sure that I'm talking to you right now. It's uh, just basic memory functions um, and uh, also just the level of norepinephrine and epinephrine in the brain that sort of, as you know, encodes that neurotransmitter encodes memories into the hippocampus and so the trauma related experience then is kind of locked there whereas other details kind of drift. So what you are telling us is this could not be a case of mistaken identity. Absolutely not. Let's go back to the incident. What is the strongest memory you have? The strongest memory of the incident, something that you cannot forget. Take whatever time you need. indelible in the hippocampus is the laughter, the, la the uproarious laughter between the two, and they're having fun at my expense. Are you aware that the three people at the party besides yourself and, and Brett Kavanaugh have given statements under penalty of felony to the committee? Yes. And are you aware of what those statements say? Yes. Um, are you aware that they say that they have no memory or knowledge of such a party? Yes. Okay. I don't expect that PJ and Leland would remember this evening. It was a very unremarkable party. It was not one of their more notorious parties um, because nothing remarkable happened to them that evening they were downstairs. And Mr. Judge is a different story. Um, I would expect that he would remember that this happened. Can you tell us what you don't forget about that night? The stairwell, the living room, the bedroom, the bed on the right side of the room. As you walk into the room, there was a bed to the right. Um, the bathroom in close proximity the laughter, the uproarious laughter, and the multiple attempts to escape and the final ability to do so. Last night, the Republican staff of this committee released to the media a timeline that shows that they've interviewed two people who claim they were the ones who actually assaulted you. I'm asking you to address this new defense of mistaken identity directly. Dr. Ford. With what degree of certainty do you believe Brett Kavanaugh assaulted you? 100%. Mm -hmm.